Here we go, buffalo, my wings, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that beautiful sunset view, California. Or it's just me. Fit of the day. It's been very cold lately here in California, I ain't gonna lie. I've said it before when I was back on Guam that I would rather be cold and try to be warm than be warm and try to be cold. Now, I'm not gonna go back on what I said, but still, it's been very, very cold. Oh, see that little post over there? Young Don the Sauce God came through, gave me a signed poster. Check him out. Good YouTube animator. Great personality and stuff. Thanks for the poster, my man. It's Friday. I got nothing else better to do, and I'm kind of tired of cooking bacon and eggs, which is, you know, that's not a bad thing to say, but still, you know, you, you want to cherish your food. You don't want to have to constantly eat the same thing and get tired of it. Fit of the day is just a jacket, beanie, neff shirt, sweatpants, force commanders, white and blue. We're going to Chula Vista. I'm going to check out the DMV, just drive by, see what it looks like and stuff. And then near that is a Buffalo Wild Wings, so that's what we're going to eat today. Oh, let's go. Pew. Sunny as fuck today, but it's still cold. The old chariot of fire. Ugh. One thing's for sure is that because I don't have any tint, it's actually very warm in here in the car. It's uh, like a kind of like a sauna. You know, you got that greenhouse effect where the sun shine and next uh, the UV rays and whatever gets through. It, it's kind of welcoming walking into this car. It's like ah, oh, warmth, which is a much different thing than back on Guam where I'm like oh, it's hot. One thing cool about San Diego is you almost never really. Never really need your aircon. I mean, only to like maybe cool off the inside for like a minute or so, but then you can just turn it off and just roll your windows down. So that's pretty cool, which I'll be doing right now. So let's head to Chula Vista. <laughs> Chula Vista DMV and the line is out the god dang door. Shit. Fuck. I don't know how long, like, you know, I still gotta change my ID and shit, but damn. That looks like a long ass wait, so I have to plan that out. Set up an appointment and shit, but anyways, driving through Chula Vista. Nice looking place. Now let's head to that Buffalo Wild Wing, shall we? Here we go. Buffalo. My wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, just finished uh, eating at Buffalo Wild Wings at the Chula Vista Shopping Center. I think that's what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Anyways, this is, um, it's like an open air mall where like, you know, there's no enclosure. You're just walking paths that are out in the open and then, you know, stores have their doors open and everything. I guess that saves on like cooling and shit, but it's cold, bro. For me, it's cold, right? Like right now it's, it says right there on the dash, 61 degrees. To some, that's warm. But for someone who, grow, who grew up on an island where like the natural average between 90 and 100 on a given, any given day, average, this is freaking freezing to me. So like walking around, it's just like, I'm just like shivering and stuff. And you know, kind of reminds me when I'm walking around Japan or Korea where I kind of want to wrap my face in something, but you know, I don't want to look weird. That just looks weird. You know, I bet that looks weird for all the normal people here. So anyways, <clears throat> Buffalo Wild Wings, my review. The food is okay, but it does take a while to get to you and I wouldn't want to work at a Buffalo Wild Wings to be honest just looking at their layout there's like got to be like I don't know close to a hundred tables in there I'm probably over exaggerating but it looks like a lot a lot of tables to cover and I wouldn't wish that on anybody like unless they have like 50 servers or something like when it gets busy that's gonna be a fucking madhouse in there considering that everything is just like it's just so crazy looking and so I wouldn't want to work there if you're a server and if you can handle it handle it but just I was sitting next to a, a couple who are uh, on the 
you know, finishing. And they were complaining that it took almost an hour just for them to get ranch dressing. An hour, that's what they said. Now, mind you, I am a server and I do hear a lot of ridiculous complaints like, oh, you know, they're over-exaggerating. Maybe it took them 30 minutes. But still, just to get ranch dressing, I would think that one of the easier things to do. But like I said, there's just so many tables in there that as a server, you just can't remember everything that, you know, you're constantly, you know, berated with like, can I get this? Can I get that? Where's my this? Where's my that? So I would not want to work there. It looks like a nice place, but there's just way too many seats in there. I would just stress the fuck out if I was a server there. Like I was just listening to the complaint. It's just, it's just all about timing. And, and I said it before is like, if you want a guest or a customer to be happy, it, it's all, it has to deal with timing. Like if you can get to them right away, if you can greet them right away, if you get their drinks right away, if you can get their food right away, and if you get all their needs right away, for the most part, they won't complain. But if it takes a long time, that's when they start getting impatient. That's when they start getting frustrated. And that's when they start complaining. It, it may start with ranch dressing, but then, you know, if they're complaining about ranch dressing, they'll start noticing other things that they're complaining about. Oh, their food is a little too cold. Or, you know, it, it took too long to get the check. I don't know what happened, but my camera stopped recording. So anyways, I left off with it took too long to get the check. So timing, timing is everything. If you can get everything right away, most often than not, guests won't complain. They won't, they'll be happy. They'll be satisfied. So... Like I said, I wouldn't want to work at the Buffalo Wild Wings and I kind of wouldn't want to work at this location. This open air thing, it's like, it's nice to look at, but it's so cold. But And, and they got a lot, of, like a lot of nice furniture that you can sit on and lounge around. Like it looks like, like patio furniture, like cabana furniture, like the, in the middle of the, you know, walkways and stuff. Like you just sit and chill, but it's so cold. Like everyone here is wearing sweaters and jackets and whatever, even though it's almost March. Spring is in the air. If you're working at Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, more power to you. If you can handle that stuff and stay there, good good on you. But for me personally, I wouldn't want to work there. I, I sometimes have a hard time, you know, trying to keep up when I'm get, I only have five seats. However, it, it mainly occurs when like either it's a large group that is taking a lot of my time or I get multiple sat. But once I can get, you know, everything pretty much down and taken care of, you know, it's easy breezy street for me. It's, it's just when, it's when I either get a large group or I'm sat like bam 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 that's when you know the problem starts it's hard for me to get to guess when i have to like you know refill all these drinks or whatever but if i can keep everything in order and it, it has an order to it i can handle a lot of tables it's no problem it's when i'm trying to take care of one table and then you seat me like one two three like that and then that's when the problem happens so I'm pretty sure as a server, you know, you would know, you feel the same way. So I'm gonna head back to Westfield Plaza Bonita, maybe get get a workout in and stuff. So, yeah. I totally forgot about like talking about food. The food to me, it's. I got medium. It's a little. It wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be, but you know, I, I had a little hiccup with that before. It. That's what happens when it gets a little too spicy. I do start hiccuping, but I only had one, and then once I drank, it was okay. So I might get a little courageous next time and try the more spicy stuff. I've been watching a lot of First We Feast, so wings and hot sauce. I've been wanting to try out and stuff, but the pricing it is kind of expensive in my opinion if you're on guam and you you know you go to horse and cow you have them quarter wing wednesdays or whatever you know wings are a quarter I, I, or maybe it's 50 cents now like for nine wings it costs like 14 dollars like that's kind of expensive for wings you know what i'm saying like they have a snack size and a small size the snack size is like 850 but you know plus tax it'll probably be like nine something yeah it was like 1350 for nine wings and I, I was just looking, I was thinking, like, that's kind of expensive. You know, I mean, I know you're a, you're a, a wing brand or something, you know, a franchise or whatever. But like I said, I'm, I'm used to the 50 cent wings. You know what I'm saying? So for $14, you would expect maybe like 28, sorry. 14 times 2, 28. I don't know why it's dead to 24. My math is like horrible. Um, the quality of the rings, general, basic. The sauce was, it was heavily sauced, like, it was like drowning in it. You only get a choice of celery and um, carrots and a dressing. They only gave me like two pieces of celery and like four pieces of carrots and one little uh, ramekin of ranch dressing. I ordered a side Caesar salad with that. I think that was like 350 So overall, my total, and I got an iced tea, which was unsweetened. I spent around 23 bucks. That's a lot. I was expecting to at least keep it under 20 bucks. 
but when it came down to it, it was over 23. I gave an extra five dollars, you know, tip because my server also had to handle the, you know, the complaining guests. So I kind of felt bad. But like I said earlier, I would not want to work there. It's it's too hectic. The timing's all off. At least with my restaurant, the food comes out fast, like really fast to the point where like you get you get sat, you take care of their order, right? You get their order, you get their drinks and like right, you get sat again. And as you're taking, you know, your second table's order, your first table's food is already heading out. And so like, you know, like I said, my, my the restaurant I work with is it's fast paced. It's, it's trying to get your customers in and out as quickly as possible and like have no real lounge time. Buffalo Wild Wings looks like it has a lot of lounge time. Like you'll have guests that'll sit there for a long time. And they have TVs everywhere. I think I saw like 20 plus TVs. You know, so obviously that's gonna increase the 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 chill time. So if you work there, good on you. More power to you. But it was just like a it was an average experience for me. Beautiful. Since you been gone, I've been asking the drops. You were such a habit to call. I ain't myself at all, had to tell myself no. She better with some fella with a regular job. I didn't want to get her involved. But then I Mr. Benjamin was sitting in awe. Hops into my car, drove far. 